recognizing sp3 d2 hybrid orbitals. So we identify the molecules that have has an atom, ha, identify the molecule or molecules that has an atom with sp3 d2 hybridization. So we're looking for the atom, so the central atom, so P, B, R, X, E, I, or P, that have uh, sp3 d2 hybridization. So this means actually that they have six orbitals. So we're looking for something that has six orbitals. And we have to count up the lone pairs and the number of bonds to figure out how many orbitals we have. So here, P has one, two, three, four, five bonds. It has five bonds, making it have five orbitals. So we know that cannot have a hybridization of sp3d2. So A is out. B has one, two, three, four, four bonds and two lone pairs. So four bonds, two lone pairs. If I add those up, I get six orbitals. And so this one must have a s plus p plus p plus p plus d plus d, which equals s p 3 d 2 hybridization. And so b definitely counts. So this one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 bonds. And that means 6 orbitals as well. And that means it's going to have an sp3d2 hybridization. So C also counts. Notice this is an octahedral shape and this is going to be a square planar shape and they have both have six orbitals even though they have lone pairs and bonds. Their bonding is different so we have mo different molecular geometries. Their hybridization is similar. D has one, two, three, four, five and it has it's kind of like this PF5 up here. So and instead of PF5, it's PCL5. So D is also out of the running because it has five orbitals. Here, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five, again, like we do here, except there are three lone pairs and two atoms, two bonds. And that still gives us five orbitals. And remember, we're looking for six orbitals to have sp3d2 hybridization. So B and C are the answers to this problem.